When you train your legs, you know you need to squat, you know you need to have a hinge idea in there, but one of the best ways to finish off a leg workout is with some single leg work, and we have built a vicious single leg finisher for you today. Pull up at the spot and you know I'm steady blazing. As always, we wanna hit the three E's of fast finishers. We wanna be effective, we wanna be efficient, we wanna be exciting. It's gonna drive your heart rate through the roof and it's gonna hit a lot of notes in terms of hip mobility and also a lot of leg strength. This one is going to be exciting because you're gonna to get to chain three moves together. You're also gonna to get to live in the front rack for a nice amount of time. It's efficient in that we're using exactly one set of weights. You're barely gonna move your body position so you don't need a whole ton of space to do it and it's gonna be very effective, right? Yeah, 100%. Eb's gonna start here by cleaning up the bells into the rack position. And we're gonna focus on doing 10 reps of this step up off the floor. So he's gonna start in the kneeling position. Let's start here in this rack position. As he's stepping through, I want you guys to notice he's in a nice upright position. His rib cage is tucked down. In kneeling position, his hips are extended. So he's nice and locked out. But big thing here is this mobility aspect is bringing the leg around as he steps through. So we're unloading the leg and then reloading while staying loaded in the upper body. After 10 reps, he's gonna eliminate that bottom portion or the mobility part and just focus on the step up or the lunge, right? Coming off the ground and powering through. So he's gonna gently touch the knee to the floor or just above the floor, still staying in this upright position from the shoulders to the hips, nothing has changed. The only difference is the legs not coming around under the body in front. So he's gonna hit 10 reps here. Now heart rate's gonna start to come up, yeah? I'm not doing legs the day before we shoot these videos. <laughs> now things are gonna change drastically. Eb's now no longer gonna go to the bottom of the lunge, but he's gonna hold his split squat and he's gonna go straight up and down as if his back was against the wall. Again, position from the hip to the shoulder never changes. Still racked in that front rack position, but now we have constant tension in the lower body. This is the exciting part. This is where the heart rate starts to build. This is where the burn starts to really, really, really happen. We're kind of locking it in here. You see how we adapt to the movement after being loaded for almost 90 seconds of work, 10 reps a piece. Let's have put those down. Take a second. So how's that feel? What were you feeling throughout each and every rep here or each and every exercise? I think you get, you get, I mean, at the start, you get so much work just kind of driving that hip out and you're right, maintaining that good position. It sets a really good fundamental, I think. Right? Yeah, you take a second. Yeah. I want to go off the, what he said, it sets the fundamental and the fundamental of thinking about your posture being loaded, right? We want to stay up nice and upright. Bells are racked. We're locked in with our hips and our core. But over time, what we need to focus on is our posture. We're going to start to fatigue. We're going to start to break. And it's that upper back, the thoracic, that we really want to hone in and control. If we can control that, everything else will kind of come together a little bit easier. What makes this work is that front rack because it forces all that core accountability, forces that mid-back accountability. This becomes not just a great leg finisher, my total body winds up feeling it by the time I'm done. You can hear him, the heart rate is up, sweat's coming down. I mean, hit this two more times and I think, I think you're gonna be finished. Exactly. Rest 30 seconds between each set. Do two rounds of this. That's two, two sets per side. Trust us, it'll be enough. Get this in your leg workout.